Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today's video we're going to be talking about Comfy UI. So this is a software, open source software that converts text into images, AI images. Uh, so this software is open source and uh, the creators of this software have worked really hard on it and it's a really amazing software to use. So uh, I'll have a link in the description to the Comfy UI uh, GitHub page, which explains how to download and install Comfy UI. If you need uh, a video on how to install it, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on how to install Comfy UI on your system. So uh, it, um, once you have it installed and uh, run it, you'll have this user interface. This user interface is called a, uh, a workflow. The workflow consists of different nodes. These are different nodes here. Each node has on the left inputs, on the right outputs, and these are also inputs. You can convert these things into inputs like this. If you want to convert the seed into input, as you can see, it's now an input and you can connect it to other nodes. So we'll leave it here for now. So the first node we're going to talk about is load checkpoint. So the stable diffusion models, which are used to convert the text to image, are uh, uh, you need to download them from like a website like uh, Civit AI, for example, and uh, store them in your Comfy UI directory, models, and then checkpoints. And then you go here and you select your checkpoint. So I'm going to select AGI SD 1.5 .safe tensors. So there are different files. Uh, .safe tensors are recommended because they are safe to use. Uh, thus the name, safe tensors. So uh, I re highly recommend using .safe tensor files. And uh, you select your model like this. Uh, SD 1.5 generates 512 by 512 uh, latent images or uh, AI generated images. The SDXL, on the other hand, generates 1024 by 1024 images. So uh, depending on the model that you download, you're going to change the latent image respectively. But for now, we're going to use the SD 1.5 models and uh, load it like this. Once you select it, you'll have the model output, the clip, and the VAE as outputs. So the first box here is the prompt, text prompt, that you're going to use to describe what type of image you want from the, uh, um, what do you want to generate technically. This is the negative prompt. It uh, contains the text that you do not want to see in your image. So here there's text and watermark by default. Uh, uh, they have text and watermark because the stable diffusion models are really really bad and in, in uh, you know like depicting text in the image. So for me I just use blur and distortion as well. And that's all I use for negative prompts. That's it. So uh, this is the negative prompt. And as you can see, both both of these nodes have the same name. So it's sometimes really good to change the name. You right click and then title like this to change the name. So I'll change this to positive for positive prompt and this for two negative for negative prompt and as you can see they connect to clip so they take the clip from the low checkpoint node and connect it to the clip if you don't connect it you'll get an error and then the conditioning out out of the negative and positive go into the case sampler positive and negative inputs. This is an empty latent image which is needed to generate the final image. It goes into the case sampler 
So it's 512 by 512. The output image will be the same size as you put input in here. So it goes into the latent image of the case sampler here. The case sampler is like the brains of the uh, node or the workflow. And this is where the magic goes and converts everything together and outputs, outputs an image. So now we have the positive prompt, the negative prompt, our model loaded, our empty image, uh, latent image uh, inputted in, into the case sampler. Now we need a seed. So a seed, you can, you can have it here to be generated randomly. So random, randomize. It will, each time you hit the Q to generate an image, this seed will change. So if you want it to, uh, to be fixed, you just select fixed. If you want it to increment each time you hit the Q, then you put on increment, decrement. Every time you hit the Q, you put it on decrement. But it's recommended if you want the image to change, just put it on randomize. So each model here that you select, make sure to read the description of the model that you download. They'll have like recommendations on the number of steps, the CFG, the sampler name and scheduler and denoise. So the number of steps for my model here is 15. This is the recommended uh, steps and the CFG is six. So the number of steps is just the number of iterations that this case sampler will go over the uh, empty latent image to generate the output. So the more steps you add, the longer uh, time it will take to generate the image, but uh, it should be an improved image. But sometimes uh, if you exceed a certain number of uh, steps, it just becomes uh, blurry and uh, doesn't come out right. So make sure to check each model's uh, number recommended number of steps. Uh, so that you don't, you know, overuse the steps and waste your time and then, you know, get a, a bad output as well. So the CFG is a guidance scale, which uh, means uh, how, how strict you want the model to stick with your input text or uh, positive prompt. Uh, so a number is usually used is eight. For me, I'm using six is good enough and it produces the best results for my model. So my model is available at my coffee page here. If you want to download it, you can download it. Uh, I use it to make sure that I don't, don't have to put a lot of negative prompts. So the AGI SD 1.5 is designed to have very little negative prompts. So this is all I use for negative prompts and I uh, usually hide the negative uh, node like this and just put it away just like that and I only change the positive prompt so now uh, that we have uh, everything uh, the schedulers here you'll need to uh, they don't really um, uh, affect the image generation all of them will generate an image but each uh, each one of them will have a different uh, output style, you know. So for my model, the recommended uh, scheduler or sampler is DPMPP SDE. This is the normal one which uses CPU. This one uses GPU. So I'm going to use my GPU. And the scheduler here, SGM Uniform. Those are my favorite uh, mix, sampler, and scheduler. They're really good in realistic images, and that's what I'm into. So I use them most of the time. The denoise of one, this is like the maximum value of the denoise is one. This just means that it's going to denoise the entire empty latent image to generate the output image. If you uh, use, for example, 0 0.5, this means that it's going to denoise half of the um, uh, empty latent image and make an output. This is useful when you want to do image to image and we're gonna talk about that in a later video. But for now, if you want to just generate from text to image, just use one, denoise of one. 
So we have all our settings in the case sampler. We have our positive prompt, negative prompt, our model, and empty latent image. Now we output a latent uh, image from the case sampler. This latent image needs to go into a VAE decoder. And the VAE decoder takes a VAE input from the load checkpoint here. So you just connect it like that. And that's all. And you connect the latent output into the samples of the VAE decoder. So if this was not here, for example, and this was not here, uh, all you have to do is just drag like this. And you can see here you give uh, you get an option of adding it. Just add it like that. And then the VAE, you just connect it to this. And as you can see, each matching type have matching colors as well. So you have the clip in yellow, you have VAE in red, you have the samples in pink, and the image in blue. So the image here is ready to be uh, shown. You can either drag and drop and uh, put a preview node, and the image will be previewed here. And or you can drag and drop and put save image and the image will be saved in your output folder in your comfy UI directory with a prefix of comfy UI. You can change this prefix if you want. So you can do like, I don't know, like image underscore, for example, and the image will be named image underscore and then a serialized number zero 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 one two three four five dot PN, uh, png so this saves the image this previews the image but also the save image node has a preview here so there's no need for this one here you can just uh, delete it and now we're ready to generate our image so let's uh, go to the text prompt here so you can see they have uh, by default they have these extra um, you know, um, characters here, we just get rid of them. And uh, the description is beautiful scenery, nature, glass bottle, landscape, purple galaxy bottle. So let's hit uh, Q. And it will start outlining the uh, working node in green, as you can see, and, and now it's going through the steps here, via decode, and we got our image. So let's see the image here. And as you can see, generated a really nice uh, galaxy in a bottle. And uh, so this is the basics of uh, Comfy UI. In the next video, we're going to be diving into more uh, advanced workflows and also prompt engineering. So make sure to subscribe for uh, the future videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time.